Good evening, brothers and sisters, and welcome to evening prayer for Wednesday, the 16th of September. Our service for Wednesday evening commences on page 404 of a prayer book for Australia. Our psalm this evening is Psalm number 39, which is found on page 261. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The opening canticle is Song of Praise. God be gracious to us and bless us, and make your face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, your salvation among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Then the earth will bring forth its increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. You, O God, will bless us, and all the ends of the earth will fear you. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Psalm number 39. I said, I will keep watch over my ways, lest I sin with my tongue. I will keep a guard on my mouth while the wicked are in my sight. I held my tongue and said nothing. I kept silent but found no comfort. My pain was increased. My heart grew hot within me while I mused the fire blazed and I spoke with my tongue. Lord, let me know my end and the number of my days that I may know how short my time is for you have made my days but a hand's breadth, and my whole span is as nothing before you. Surely everyone who stands secure is but breath. We live as a passing shadow. The riches we heap are but a puff of wind, and we cannot tell who will gather them. And now, Lord, what is my hope? Truly my hope is in you. O deliver me from all my transgressions, do not make me the butt of fools. I was dumb, I did not open my mouth, for surely it was your doing. Take away your plague from me, I am brought to an end by the blows of your hand. When with rebukes you chastise us for sin, you cause our fair looks to dissolve in putrefaction. Surely everyone is but breath. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Be not silent at my tears, for I am but a stranger with you, a passing guest, as all my forebears were. Turn your eye from me, that I may smile again, before I go hence, and am no more. God of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and of your great mercy, keep us in the same, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 2, beginning at the 11th verse. So then, remember that at one time you Gentiles by birth called the uncircumcision by those who are called the circumcision, a physical circumcision made in the flesh by human hands. Remember that you were at that time without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of of Christ. For he is our peace. In his flesh he has made both groups into one, and has broken down the dividing wall, that is, the hostility between us. 
He has abolished the law with its commandments and ordinances, that he might create in himself one new humanity in place of the two, thus making peace and might reconcile both groups to God in one body through the cross, thus putting to death that hostility through it. So he came and proclaimed peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him, both, for, both of us have access in one spirit to the Father. So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints and also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. In him the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are built together spiritually into a dwelling place for God. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The Canticle, the Song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour, who has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. God has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. The Lord has shown strength with his arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. God has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. O God, without you we are not able to please you. Mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. We pray for the world and for the church. God of all faithfulness, we pray for all in leadership roles throughout the globe, for all who make decisions which impact the lives of others. We pray for their wisdom and guidance. We pray for a humanity that might rise to the challenge of caring for one another. And we pray for better stewardship of your creation entrusted to us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for Scott, our Prime Minister, Gladys, our Premier, for our federal and state members. We give thanks for the careful oversight, their careful oversight of their constituents, giving thanks for the liberal democratic political system under which we are governed. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for our Bishop Peter and assistants, Sonia and Charlie, giving thanks for their careful stewardship of our diocese and their respective regions. We pray for the clergy and laity of our parishes and sector ministries and for all who minister in your name. We especially pray this evening for the clergy and people of the parishes of Cessnock, Denman, East Maitland, Dungog and Clarence Town. Guide your church, O Lord, in these challenging times that we may continue to shine the light of Christ and thus declare your love in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of all faithfulness, keep us under your protection and mercy, sustain and support the anxious. Be with those who care for the sick in body, mind or spirit, 
and lift up all who are brought low, that we might draw strength and find comfort in knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for those who have gone before us, praying for the souls of the faithful departed. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and may light perpetual shine upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May our Lord Jesus Christ and God our Father comfort our hearts and establish them in every good work and word. Amen.